Hello friends of Golf Course Quality Fertilizer. Here we are in spring, soon spring. Uh, it's actually the end of February today, February 28th. Um, but we're coming up to a time where we're gonna get out in the yard and do things. And there's some things you wanna do early, even right now if you can, if you're up for it, uh, to get out in the yard and help uh, make it have a good season, right? And so I talked about how to prepare for winter and now this is kind of the proof in the pudding about like snow mold and what we're doing for the lawn and does it make a difference and all these different things we uh, think about with that getting ready for winter video that we did this is the spring video which is actually more important it's, this is the one that helps you get rid of the snow mold that may have occurred uh, and do things to prep your grass and start waking up a little earlier have more growing time before summertime hits and get nice and strong so this is what we do in the spring right so Let's look at these lawns. Here's the lawn. This is ours. Uh, we stay at the same height all the time through the whole year. And what we do is we mow it as late as we can. So when we know it's finally done growing, that's when we'll actually mow it. You can see we had a lot of snow in February, so it's kind of flattened out. Uh, and actually we had enough snow cover this season. Um, we had enough snow cover this season to actually create a little bit of gray snow mold and that's the snow mold that we really worry about and once again uh, circumstances of how short your grass is it's not going to change that because if you look at both of these lawns this one here was mowed short and this you know shorter uh, for the fall and this one just stayed the same we just mowed it all the same and they're both flattened out they have this little flat spots on it uh, it looks gross of course after the snow i don't see a whole lot of uh, snow mold that's really present per se but if you look down in here you know it is a little slimy and that's the snow mold that's starting to crop up and this one here uh, why it's slimy uh, it just really hasn't started really kicking yet or anything there's no pink snow mold in here to speak of but we don't need snow to get pink snow mold we need it to be able to hold moisture when it's flattened out like this it holds moisture doesn't let it dry out and then you start to create, uh, get these pink snow mold patches. You'll see like little pink outlines and stuff. Still haven't had it really any pink snow mold. Now, over here, we do see some gray snow mold. So we have a really good spot, okay? Now it's just a little bit. Now this is in the shorter lawn. Uh, this is a patch of gray snow mold. And what you notice, even through here, we can see these little mycelia. It looks like webs down in here. Right, you'll see these webs and things like that. See that? That's actually mycelium, the fruiting bodies of gray snow mold right here, because this was gray snow mold coming through this area. And then this is one where it really starts to take off. And gray snow mold will kill the grass. Um, not pink snow mold, that's purely cosmetic. So even though it looks ugly, maybe flattened out, you can still um, just lightly rake it and boom, it'll grow right back. This one, if we let it stay much longer, and we're kind of right at the start of what gray snow mold started to do with that snow cover. Luckily, we did get this kind of melt off, and so now we can breathe, and maybe gray snow mold won't have such an uh, aggressive action this season on us. Now, the farther north you are, the longer snow cover you have, the more issues you have with gray snow mold, okay? So let me show you what we do real easily. There's a couple methods that you can use. Most people have a rake, of course, right? And when we're coming out here to kind of fluff things up, and that's all we need to do. We don't need to rake up all the brown stuff. That'll work its way out or get mowed off or uh, disintegrate away pretty quickly on its own. So I don't want to do a bunch of work. I got a bad shoulder anyway, so the least amount of raking I can do, the better. But all we need to do is kind of come through here, and you'll notice when we rake this, how it already starts to look better, just with a little bit of raking. Right now we got air and sun coming in there. Even if we get snow later and things like that, this will still really, really help uh, your lawn. So, you know, I don't want to go through and rake my whole lawn. I got a blower, but still, if you got little areas that really kind of smash down, you come through here and lightly rake them a little bit. That's all you need to do. And it'll really help that grass actually start to wake up a little earlier because now, we got sunlight and air getting in here uh, and the temperatures of the soil will warm up a little bit faster and the grasses are growing a little quicker in the spring uh, start growing get that going and that'll really help the turf 
establish for the summertime. And so it's just really easy. Don't worry about gray snow mold much or pink snow mold especially because it's just cosmetic. Get out there, do a little bit of raking, boom, gone, done, don't have to worry about anything. No fungicides needed or anything like that. Now, I'm gonna show you real quick how easy it is to do with a blower. Um, and then once we get that blower going, then you'll see, boy, I could get the whole yard done in about 30 minutes or so, maybe an hour if I really go at it. But let me show you real quick how much. Now, I know this is a big boy, so these are a little bit more expensive. Um, you don't need something this big, of course, but backpacks are really nice. You can help yourself uh, with a backpack get going uh, and really get that stuff down without really working your body too much. So this is pretty nice using a backpack for it. see I've kind of fluffed this all up I mean it already looks better of course right and here you can look at this little patch where that gray snow mold was really heavy it started really killing the grass down in there it almost looks like it's starting to melt out so the quicker you get that guy kind of broke up then she might survive so just get out there do a tiny little bit of work and that'll really help your lawn and keep you from having to do anything as far as seeding and things like that because spring seeding is spring seeding is is you know not the most ideal seeding but if you are going to do spring seeding right now february 28th ground is not frozen that's when to get some seed in the ground maybe even a little bit into march and things like that but as early as you can you want to get some seed in some areas if you want to get some seed in the spring because you want that seed to have the most time to start to mature up before you put that that preventer down because that preventer that you put down for crabgrass stops all grass seed right and so let's go ahead and get that seed now now it might take a while you might rake it in there soil temperatures need to be about 50 degrees for it to finally start to germinate and even then at 50 it's really slow to grow right so be patient but this is the better time to get that seed down in the ground if you're gonna do any spring seeding go out there loosen some soil up throw the seed in rake it in and tamp it down and just forget about it until it's you start mowing and you're like oh hey look some stuff is starting to pop up there um, but the most ideal time is always to fall the seed but sometimes we throw some seed in the spring early is the best thing even if it gets snowy again it's really cold here in the next week or two uh, and it freezes back over that seed will be just fine it'll be kind of what we call dormant seeding and just sit there and wait for those soil temperatures to hit 50 some degrees and hold there for long enough for it to start to germinate and grow so spring seeding this is the time to do it if you want to sneak out and get some or anytime where it's a little warm out and you know the ground's not frozen on the top um, and then getting out there and just kind of cleaning up the yard a little bit blowing it fluffing it up that'd be a great way to get that yard started also an early mow when it doesn't even look like it needs mowed yet and i know it's like wow we're gonna pop out the mower in the beginning of March to mow the grass. Well, if it's possible, it's really good. It kind of clips it up, wakes it up, it fluffs it for you. So that's a really good thing to do that. All right, so thanks for listening. Getting ready for spring. Have a good day.